keeps you at a level <laughs> below them. <laughs> below the workers. Yeah. 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 And you feel like a child if you were to yell up at them because you're <laughs> sitting so far below them. <laughs> Get some action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what did he do? Or is it just he's over? Nope, they're just taking a break. Yeah, they're probably getting ready to do a slow jam. We're gonna do a slow jam real fast. Yeah, we're gonna slow it down real quick. I just hope they play Mambo Number Five. <laughs> you ready? Mm, not oh yet. God, oh, okay, just give me a warning. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting close. So it's going to go to yours first, Larry? Yeah, something. Okay. Well, you had a lot of belated birthdays on your page. Yeah. <laughs> Cannabis Network Media is now live. Oh, hey, it's live. Let me see if that yours. see here. Mm, I don't see it yet. something going on with mine. It didn't come. So I'm going to, uh, I uh, didn't. It won't pass yours. If you share it to my page? I'll share it to you. You want to share it to your page? Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> That's what you're waiting on. I'll share it with the timeline. Yeah, share it to, share it to my timeline, Larry. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I thought you did. That's why I was going to go do a watch party. I'm going to say hi to Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Hey. No, it's not coming through. There's something wrong with mine. I'm going to have to look into it. Oh, hey, there Sam, it is. Hey, I'm in there. <laughs> I'm in there. Oh, gosh. Cario's in the building. It's Saturday night. There we go, Larry Reed, the man on weed. And we're Take here two. Saturday night with the wonderful uh, Christian and Josie from <laughs> the Cannabis Island over there in beautiful Dell City, Dell City, Dell City, Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, let's go to the Cannabis Island here. So tell us a little bit more about Cannabis Island there, Christian. What's going on over there? Well, um, our green screen's all in the back of us, though. Oh, did I did I mess that up here? Let me see. One moment, please. One moment. But you get to go and tell us about Cannabis <laughs> Island. We just love Cannabis Island. So, um, the owner had a really unique idea for a dispensary. She she wanted it to have she wanted it to be island theme, but more than just like a little island theme. We wanted Talk a little bit closer to, to this one, just so they can hear you. We wanted something that was a little more comfort comfortable, Fun. especially for some of the older customers and some of the customers in the room that are more um, geared towards anxiety issues and stuff. Mm -hmm. We wanted everyone to feel like not only was it a unique place to come into, but a place where they could kind of settle in and and, and come it's back relaxing. regularly and relax. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's relaxing working there. Like. Yeah. I mean, when I go yeah, in there, it's scenery. like I'm on a vacation. Yeah. That's what I keep telling everybody. I'm like, man, I can't I haven't had a vacation in forever. But I walk in there, there's the wraps on the walls yeah. and on the floors, the and floors it's floors are normally what gets people. Yeah, they get seashells when they first walk in. Yeah, bam, over. right there. It's like my <laughs> take my shoes off real quick, getting the sand, sand on my feet. I'm like, I got a good view. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was I know I was real impressed when we went to the grand opening and and saw the intricate details that were taken like even in the display cases with the with the sand yeah. and the little <laughs> shells in there and then um like the little tiki bar and stuff that's yeah. that's in there too it's really cool yeah so. a lot of people came together to make it happen and it was uh it was really cool to watch it happen mm -hmm. and all kind of come together know, i mean it we came in before any of the wraps were on the floor 
great very floors, nice. great yeah. walls. <laughs> yeah. The floors are spectacular in there. Yeah. It, it looks like you're walking on the ocean. Yeah. They, it, it, it can yeah. be trippy sometimes. Trippy is <laughs> yeah. as trippy does. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The, the beauty on that one. Uh, and so you're, you're, you've been up and going for a few weeks now, right? You grand uh, opening. A little over was a month now. Yeah, uh, the grand opening was on June 1st. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, we ran a patient drive with Chronic Docs that day and everything. And yeah, had a great a turnout. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Uh, unexpectedly great. I mean, we uh, had, like, at one point, I think we counted over 75 people waiting in line before the doors opened. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was a, a great good time. Day. We love medicine. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fact. The, the world loves good cannabis medicine. Absolutely. And, and so, so who do you see – Who's the the patients that you see coming through? Like, what's the array? You see a lot more younger folks, see a lot more older folks, or right now mainly older folks. Yeah. Um, I I would say just based off of talking to people, both that have cards and and don't, that we still have a lot of younger people that haven't gotten their cards either due to expense or just they don't really know how to go about it. And I mean, younger people are typically take a little longer to get around to things. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the older people, it's it's surprising how many people we have that are not only first time card or just got their cards and are first time patients in general, mm -hmm. but that are actually people that have it's their first time using any sort of THC product at all in their life. Right. And yeah. we hear a lot of awesome stories from a lot of people of different backgrounds and how it's helped them. And I mean, some people are people that tell you, you know, I smoked for years and I always knew it was good, and now I have access to it. And you have some older people that come in and tell you, I always swore. Yeah, I swore that I would it, never touch it, awesome. and it's changed my life, and I'm off these pills. I mean, you helped us get our med cards, mm -hmm. and I was on Lexapro and Xanax mm -hmm. um, right up until yeah. I, I moved away from Tulsa to come up here. He hasn't and, filled uh, any of his prescriptions. I, I haven't filled a single one, and I kept telling him that it wasn't working and stuff, and that's when they threw the Xanax in on top of the Lexapro. We're like, well, if you're ever having a really <laughs> bad day, just take a Xanax. Just knock like, down, knock you out. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's You are. They, they had you on those meds, yeah. huh? They had me on Lexapro. Social anxiety. I didn't, I didn't anxieties, take the Xanax because I stuff? saw what Xanax did to people typically, and yep. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I had it, but uh, actually I ended up leaving the script in my ice chest one day, and the ice melted and ruined the whole thing. <laughs> 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 like, Divine ah, intervention well, right yeah. there. Yeah. That's so, and Just then, get some more medicine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But well, uh, that's awesome that it, that you you found that because that yeah absolutely. I would have never guessed because normally you know you see people that that. Uh, they're depressed. I mean, I've, I've met you a few times, and this guy's happy as a clam, man. <laughs> well, like I have been since I've been up here. It's been really awesome being part of something that I feel like it's not a waste of my time and yeah. a waste of energy, and to see so many people enthusiastic, so many people that in, in traditional businesses and social circles, if anyone's got conflicting interests, it turns into a whole ordeal. But in this industry, there's a lot of people – carrying each other, helping carry the weight, helping run patient drives, helping push people to get their cards because they know what good it can do. They've been part of it for a lot longer. They've been pushing for legalization, and now that it's happened, they would rather help each other out and help build the, the community up than break it down just to gain profit for themselves. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Because they, like our last guest that we just had on here from Knuckle Rub, the, the, it'll be nice. They'll make a few bucks and do all that, but the way they're helping people, where yeah. they're helping people get out of, get up in the morning, move That's around. That's been my favorite part of this job. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. And, and it's surprising the honesty that you get from people. Yeah. I mean, how forward they are. It's it's funny because I always tell – it's funny because the term canna fam gets thrown around a lot. Canna yeah. family, everyone. Right. And I hear people make fun of it. But it really is like an odd thing where you have people from all walks of life, yeah. ages, mm -hmm. races, mentalities that would disagree on every other front, but they can stand there and they could smoke with each other and they can talk to each other about it and how it's helped them, and that's that may be the one common ground they have, but it brings an unlikely group of people together. Right, right. Right. It sure does. Uh, the And some great people together that never would have had the chance. Yeah. Or never, they, <laughs> they've had a uh, misconstrued, they didn't believe what you know somebody said about those kind of people or these kind of people or that kind of people, and then at the end of the day when we all, you know, call today and, and take off our pants and we're all the same you know yeah. we all lay down and go to sleep well if you can go to sleep uh but that kind of stuff and then to just find the the commonality between people like that helped you yeah that helped me have you tried this on your like like i noticed yeah. you have some psoriasis <laughs> on there have you tried this rub and 
No, I haven't. It's oh, yeah, you should everybody. try that, right? Well, it well and it's funny because it's not just cannabis. I mean, a lot of the people in the cannabis community also have all sorts of remedies, and they have all mm-hmm. sorts of ideas on how to help people, whether it be therapeutic methods, whether it be through certain edible recipes, whatever like we it hear is. Something new every everyone's week. <laughs> always quick to jump to help each other. Like, oh, yeah. no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> you're, you're either going to go overboard or that's not going to work for you. Here, here's what you should do. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's mind-boggling to me um, as someone that worked in different industries and the alcohol industry and everything else to see people go so far out of their way for each other, even if it's not to any profit or any benefit to, uh, to themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, Brian Burleson said you're probably feeling better because you got laid. <laughs> there you go. The kind of I was trying to find the right laid. time to say that joke. Uh, wait, there you go, Brian. No joke on the Shooky, uh, shooky. Right. Now he got laid. He did. He came in and he's representing his uh, island, the cannabis <laughs> island, which is a great thing to have out here in the middle of. There's no island for a while <laughs> around yeah, out here. I like here. to call it our little uh, inland island getaway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dell City. Yeah, the oasis. Yeah. That Dell City is wild. If you've, if, well, most people have probably been to Dell City. <laughs> from Oklahoma, yeah, they know about the Dell City area. To just watch those jets. Yeah. Over oh, in yeah, Dell yeah. City. Yeah. <laughs> it's like City, so Del City. Sick, it was one weekend. It was really nice out, and they were doing a Blue Angel show. And a couple that was times your, I stepped out. your uh, opening. They were doing. Oh, some that's stuff. right. Yeah, that yeah. Was opening weekend. Yeah. yeah. They, I stepped out there uh, a couple times that weekend, and before and after we had opened, and watched them do practice runs, and then mm-hmm. caught like a piece of the show when I was able to. But yeah, it was it was really awesome. Yeah, Canvas Island hired the Blue Angels to come out. For the <laughs> <laughs> Celebration! Like, the, there is no expense it's spared over here. <laughs> the Getting it in because it's crazy to see those those aircraft do those tricks up there, and yeah. they're right over the houses right there in Del yeah. City. It yep. is screaming. Up well, and it's mm. funny because we have a lot of retired veterans and stuff yeah. that come in that have med cards, and so it's always funny to hear them talk about how you know, oh, I worked on Tinker for years. <laughs> and, yeah. and lived out there and you know basically ate freeze and slept the military and then once i was retired i was able to get my medical card and i look forward to the day that you know the federal ban is lifted and people don't have to worry risking their retirement Mm -hmm. to get a medical card but Mm -hmm. it is it is surprising to me like i said it always catches me off guard the different walks of life and the different people that i'd never expect that actually would have decided like i'll give this a try Mm -hmm. but i think people are kind of fed up so yeah (laughs) you know what else i heard amazing about dell city is the Asian cuisine <laughs> out in Dell City. Well, it is pretty magical. Because all the... the Canton Palace. Yeah. Canton Palace and Korea House are both right <laughs> by us. <laughs> yeah, the, the Just because next door. Because of the, the diversity of the military and it being a, oh, a, a, that makes sense. A Asian in the flight world, I that there's a lot of Asians that are in the area. And so the, the Asian food is banging. Yeah. Well, I know we, we Some of the guys we work with. Uh, Larry just taught us something about KC. Oklahoma and Dell City. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. I kind of consider OKC and Midwest City the same city almost, right? Well, I mean, yeah. Midwest yeah. City, Dell <laughs> City, <laughs> Oklahoma like three City, it's away. like they're all right. This like a little triangle of right. love. Because it is the well, biggest I mean, city, the sixth biggest city in the country, Oklahoma, just by land mass, not by people, by uh, actual square oh, miles. Like of, the sprawl yeah. of the city yeah. is mm-hmm. so huge that – it's the sixth largest, even though it's probably like the the thirtieth in population. Mm-hmm. So. I like it a lot more in Tulsa. I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have any viewers in Tulsa. Shout out Tulsa. <laughs> yes, we do too. Yeah, I know we do. We have them all over the state. Even well, Okamogi. Yes. Well, you guys brought a whole bunch of goodies. Yeah, let's, let's, let's look get at it all cracking. The, yeah. Let's see what so all you you're brought. A, you're a full blown dispensary out yeah, there, right? This, THC, yeah. CBD, whatever you got as far as cannabis products go. Probably a couple of munchies or something like that in the, uh, we got, the shelf too. We've got a whole plethora of things. Right. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is our uh, Keith carts here. Keith carts. Um, <laughs> they're actually getting together Very with us, light. and they're also real big on supporting the patients. Here, let me show, put it under the. Yeah, we're gonna put it under the. Tell them. us a little bit more about it. And um, they've got a great distillate in all their carts, and we're actually going to be doing a, w- a huge sale um, Monday the 15th all the way through the 21st, and we're going to have a ton of those Keith carts, and we're going to be selling all of them for $40 for yeah. one-gram carts. Wow. That's and a good deal. What's a normal What's a normal cart go for? Normally about on a uh, one-gram cart, $60, 60 to $70 based on, on brand and everything. But Keith got together with us, and they wanted to show their love to the patients. And so they got together with us and are helping us run the sale so that everyone can. Get and the what's the price again? 
forty dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Full gram carts. Wow. Full gram carts running with sea cells in them, Very so you'll be white. able to get all of the the wonderful ooh, juice ooh. inside those carts. Absolutely. And we'll have multiple strains available as yeah. well. There you go. OBN, premium distilled, fast labs. They got all the testing, everything ready to go. No heavy metals. No Iron Maiden. Run That's one of the things I like a lot is that they put their actual fast labs yeah. information on the back. That's something kind of unique. Uh, some some of their cart companies are starting to adopt that. Mm -hmm. But um, when we first opened up shop, they were the first people that I think sent us any uh, sort of cart packaging that actually had the fast yeah, labs on the information package. on the package. That's the indigo tea. That's great. Yeah, that one's a little roughed up. I apologize. <laughs> it's, a high, it's a hybrid, so you get a little, a little bit hybrid. of both sides of it. It's not going to drop you. It's not going to make you go wash the car. You're about <laughs> in between the middle. There you go. So there's right, keep. What's the next thing we got here? So um, I wanted to show this because personally <laughs> I fall in love with it. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. I've had it for about two days. <laughs> 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 this is a Phoenix Glycerin Bomb. So on these, they actually have a separatable top chamber. And it has glycerin in there, and you can put that whole thing in the freezer. That's awesome. And then once it's Bring ice it cold. We're going to put that under there. <laughs> <laughs> so you put it in the freezer. Yep, you put it in the freezer, and it becomes, the glycerin becomes very extremely cold. And then you're going to put that back into the the base, which we have over here. Yeah, I'm going to flip. Which is, and you've got a, a keck clip, which is otherwise known. It comes from the scientific world. Uh, Phoenix Star, huh? Yeah, we've got a couple different versions right now, um, and it's something I think we're going to regularly carry. We're we're a huge fan of them. I uh, I myself and another employee both. You need water one. in this thing. There's no agua. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were wanting to use it. Like well, that. yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, gotta, don't be bringing a bong on here and don't be ready to make man. it happen. <laughs> like, that could that could give you a problem. Yeah, there's the. the <laughs> He's like, I'm not kidding. Like, go put the, some the water Ozark in it. Right <laughs> in front. Get the Ozark. They, right by the door. The, right the, by the door. The spring water there. We're going to show a little bit. They're wanting to know your address. What is your address in Dell City? Hit, hit the Google Meister. 4723 Southeast 29th. Keep That's in mind, right. we just moved here, so <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I used that He went that to as go pass. grab. He went to go grab water, and so he came, He heard it supersonically. Yeah. <laughs> he knew what time it was. Well, we can look at this. Well, yeah, yeah what else? Let's look at this. These are some them. twists. As a matter of fact, we were just pins. talking about them last night. The ooze people. Uh, mm hmm. That. They got that they kind of just plug right into awesome. your lighter yep. in, or in your, your car. Your USB, you can put it in your computer, you can put it in your battery pack, you can put it Thanks, Jeremy. anywhere like that. And you've got a nice little pen here. We've got tons of different colors. There yeah, you those go. Are, those are really fun colors. Super good quality. Twist slim pen, nice and stealthy, bing, bang, Big boom. One all silver. Take them away. Pre heat 510 mode. thread on them. See, the 510 thread is really nice because these nectar collectors also have 510 threads on them. So you could actually hook them up in between the two. There we go. We're back to the to the Phoenix. And we actually have for those ooze pins, we have the blows. And uh, yeah. as you can see, I've been oh, using there you mine go. for concentrates. And that those are really awesome. They work perfect so far. I I've really enjoyed them. Um, I'm a huge fan of the ooze pin itself. Um, they come with great chargers. We w we went through so many batteries. <laughs> this one <laughs> we <laughs> haven't changed one, yet. Yeah, it hasn't let me down. It's, it's lasted. It's, it's hung in there. Yeah, that's cool. You got a carb cap with you, by chance? I do not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I forgot. Let me find. You got a dabber, by chance? Dab tool? I got it. No worries. Larry's okay. got it. Larry's <laughs> got it. He's got it under control. We want to make sure that this bong works properly because I actually have. He has had to any. make sure that it's really <laughs> what it says it is. I haven't well, had any. Now the ice chamber isn't cold. Oh, that's all right. They the the really when it comes to the ice chamber, you got one or two hits out of it, and that's about it. And then it just becomes a soggy mess, sweating in your 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 tube going down that there. That actually doesn't sweat too bad, uh, surprisingly. I think it's because we've it's had. A, I mean, we've we've gotten good uses out of it. Yeah. I'm a cold starter. You cold start or you hot start? Hot start. Mm -hmm. You hot start? Yeah. I cold start. <laughs> because I catch the turps going up. Rather than trying to time yourself going down and then being like, 
oh, we missed the alarm. Oh, no, <laughs> refire that banger up again and do all that kind of stuff to catch it on the way down or you're too hot, you're really inconsistent going that way. So what I do is I go with taking it up. I take it up, Miss Chronic. Only way to go. That's <laughs> it, baby. And then once it gets going. Get in there. <laughs> I think we're clogged somewhere. Uh oh. Or is it just really airy? Well, there we go. <laughs> You've been smoking flowers out of this tube. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Larry the man on weed. <laughs> well, that's a nice rip. Oh, uh, you mean out of the out of the long period? Was I smoking flowers or out of that? No, out of the oh, bomb. Okay. I was like, no, I would never use it. No, you never use it. What kind of monster? Like, <laughs> what kind of monster do you think I am? Son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> now, if every bowl was broken, that'd be a different story. Yeah, you well, know, sometimes you, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And it's got like a 32 slit percolator in there. That's why it feels so airy in there versus a chugger. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a gum, gum, triple gum. honeycomb one in the store right now, and we've got another one that kind of looks like an upside down T. It's got a yeah. percolator in it, and it was up as well. Bring over that colorful pink thing. I want to see what, what that is. And then what would somebody look to to buy one of these? We Mambo sell Jambos those for uh, one twenty five. That's a great deal. No, yeah, uh, we're price. we're really fair on all our glass and all of our uh, yeah. paraphernalia. I guess that's <laughs> medical apparatuses is medical what we like to refer to them yeah. at this time. Um, this is one of my favorites that we have. It's this cool. this cool. looks like make. something that goes with the can of gas. <laughs> 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 I'm just Probably saying. So I mean, love it, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm just saying. It's been a while. It Sorry. suctions on oh. the bottom. Really regret saying <laughs> you better You better bring your star player, man. You're losing that handle there. It's like, what's up? Um, I'm a huge fan of all the silicone products because they're so easy to clean. Most of the time, I'm able to do it with hot water and dish soap and then they come apart easy the stem comes out of that the mouthpiece comes out the bowl everything you want to know an right easier out. way to clean these how's that put them in the freezer and then take them out and smack them on the ground and then all of a sudden all the resin will just fall right out of them i'm learning you can, do it. you can do it, <laughs> you can the, do it like that the, once they're frozen right because the the, yeah. the resin doesn't stick to the, the yeah and it's not like the silicone is going to crack right no and so once everything's frozen then you crack it and just shake it out and it all goes bye bye all goes bye bye, and and if you rub this, from what I understand, a genie pops out, there and you, you can. Like that. There you go. Oh, and we that. have bangers and bowls of different sizes for all of our different pieces. This is the greatest thing for floating a river, though. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, you could literally suction it to an ice chest or something. Heck yeah! Still. I'm a summertime fun glass snob, so you'll have to excuse some of my my rhetoric when it comes to this stuff. But the this is the perfect thing for floating a river because you're not going <laughs> to. If you go over or something like that, you're not going to stab yourself with it. It's not going to break. It's not going to pop you your just bounce rack. off and keep on moving. That's it. It'll be okay. It's got a little thing. You can probably hang a little thing right there and hold it on. Like make you a little <laughs> necklace. Oh, and you'd be like, That's how you use that? Flavo Flav. Not the most discreet way to get it. Who cares? I got my medical hey, card. Got officer, my medical man. card over oh, here. Oh, oh. Got my little... <laughs> We've bong got hanging from us. Yeah, we're my necklace. Those, yeah, maybe we should make that There you go. Price happen. tag on this sucker, 30 bucks. Take it down. <laughs> 30 dollar. Like make you holly, y'all. Take it um, over to there the... There is something I forgot to mention also on the keep sale on the carts. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, um, they're doing a rare uh, golden ticket giveaway. So in one of the thousand carts that we'll have... Wow. ...will be a golden ticket inside the packaging. Golden ticket. And that golden ticket will actually uh, give... Uh, they'll win a uh, collection of a sample box, basically, of all of their products. So wow. they're one of almost everything they carry. For one so dollar? For one dollar. Or a yeah, penny? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the... And so how do you enter that? That's a that hell of deal? a deal how to get a golden like ticket. How like, 30 carts from these folks? Heck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, $40 a gram, I feel, will definitely have some people purchasing multiple. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah uh, they will. The only limit that we have is the legal limit. So. Gotcha. Which is how much can how many grams can I buy a day? I Eight it's grams. One ounce of concentrates. One ounce of a concentrates day? a day. So I think it's That's what, what it like says on the back of the card. I don't know. Twenty nine milliliters. <laughs> Twenty nine. Twenty eight grams. Twenty eight grams. Twenty eight grams. Yeah. yeah. So let's come in every day, get your legal limit, <laughs> and then you better yeah go get back home, ticket. talk to Grandpa Joe, 
and so get him get to give you that there, extra Joe. dollar and then run over <laughs> to, to the factory on your way home and find that golden ticket, man. And you sight. Well, and it's really awesome because it's not just uh, they have concentrates in there, but they are also making a bunch of unique items. Like they're putting out bubble gum, hard candies, pixie sticks, pot tarts. Pot tarts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Over at Keith, huh? That's the name yeah. of the, the manufacturer, yeah. Keith. Are and where can we find Keith? On we can find him online. Yeah, online. Right. Um, I think they're also uh, partnered with uh, Black Mesa as well. Got some of their capsules in there. Uh, oh yeah, let's, let's put that over yeah, here. Yeah, we have some of the Black Mesa capsules right here. We actually have those in 100 and 300 milligram bottles. I pull it down. Oh, I did something with the <laughs> like, yeah. My bad. You broke it. <laughs> but um, those are great for any any of our patients that can't typically. They don't want to eat an edible. They don't want to smoke any. Um, that's an alternate face. ingest or alternative ingestion go. method that My doesn't fat finger hit it tasting it or, or or feeling like. We I had guess. one woman too that had Those are purple. a lot of children around, right? And so she wanted yeah. something that wasn't so it didn't look like candy or anything. It was something <laughs> that she could store with the medicine that looked like yeah. medicine. Yeah, capsules. Yeah, well, one reason is because they they these Need capsules the are designed so that they can have somewhat of a liquid inside of them, and they're not going to melt after a while, which is real important because that FICO is a little it'll bit go right down yeah, it. it'll it'll eat that capsule away after a little while. So that's the that's the other little purple pill uh, <laughs> that's out there. And really, if you're a, if you're a medical patient or something like that, this is this is kind of the way you really need to go because you're going to need to eat a lot of medicine. And being able to pop a pill is well, going to be a whole lot easier. Well, and they're 10 milligrams a right? piece, so you don't have We've to worry about... We've got different milligrams. They said they could barely hear you, so I just want to make sure that there you go. But they're, uh, they're 10 milligrams a piece, so you don't have to worry about your dosage levels. You know, I know a lot of people with edibles and even the smoking and the vape tarts concentrates, they're worried about how much they should use. Mm -hmm. With those little 10 milligram dosages, that makes it easier for them to regulate how much they 10 are. 10 milligrams, my number. It. We have different <laughs> options. Yeah, that's probably yeah. five over your number. <laughs> five, yeah, five, five, five to ten is a really good safe what was yours, number for mine. One twenty-five. Oh, I'll be doing. No, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, let's see what else we got going well, on over uh, here. As long as we're talking about dosages on edibles, here's a. Uh, now these guys, these are are Rolls oh, Royce gosh. edibles here. These, if you if you notice on the front of my my. Now, if you note the uh, warning label there, Larry, it says to take one one hundredth of it yeah. and to wait <laughs> two hours before ingesting more. And how do you know what one one hundredth is? They're probably graduated inside. It's a little the, crumb. The <laughs> it's, a, it's a minuscule crumb. No, I don't know. <laughs> they'll be scored on the inside okay. uh, a little bit, I believe. That's a black bar brownie. We've got there a mint go. one, too. And rivaled. Corova. And these have been sold. These are They're big out west. They They come out of California. Uh, I met them over there at the Emerald Cup up there in Sonoma. They taste really last good. Last winter, yeah, they're they're you don't <laughs> you can't really taste it. At yeah, all, <laughs> that's <laughs> they're no, but the the quality of the product to eat is no, good is, is product amazing. to eat. Yeah, that's the, it doesn't taste like a lot of weed. You get a little bit of hint to it. You know, mm -hmm. you got a little bit, of, but it's not like you know, uh, uh, Lucy Lou's. They're asking real quick to please re uh, tell the how to get the golden ticket. Like, what does it constitute? So go over that again, please. It's kind of like he was making the Willy Wonka joke earlier. Um, there's that's no joke, man. Willy's a true story, <laughs> well, man. Yeah, and it's a it's it's a thousand carts that we're getting. Um, we're gonna run them at uh, forty dollars for every one gram cart. Um, as we said earlier, the legal limit is what the legal limit is on med cards, and. Um, as for the golden ticket, it will randomly be placed so in one of them. So it'll be in one uh, of So basically one, one of those it thousand really carts scenario. will have <laughs> the magical ticket in it. Yeah. So The golden ticket. Yeah, the golden <laughs> ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what. Yeah, that's what I'm watching. Yeah, so there you go. Go out there and you get go. your There you go. You just got to go, go keep trying, cards. Jeremy. You got to get in there and go get your... Go get your uh, carts, and, and that, then you got one in a thousand chances. Is basically. that exclusive to your? That's better than the lottery. <laughs> yes, this is an exclusive deal we're running at our store. <laughs> only place yeah. you're going to get that. Place yeah, only place that's got the $40 dollar carts and the golden ticket at this time, Cannabis Island, and that's in Dell City. So if you guys want to take a chance, and then it's going to be like a just a. a, a it's not a, even a, a chance. You win win. One in a thousand chances. You're going to win because yeah. you Somebody's got some of the best distillate out there, and then you could also win. The jackpot. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I might be inclined to buy a couple of cards next time. 
right. What else we got? Well, over here we have a new edible company that we started carrying. <coughs> uh, I guess probably turns processor. Mm -hmm. um, she's a local woman. It's just her and her okay husband that, uh, that run the company, and they're OK57 extracts. Um, one of the things I like about all her products is, as you can see there, she puts a sticker on there labeling the and actual strain the she actual uses strain. for every individual edible. <coughs> um, these, I brought for an example, these are the mojito and the mixed berry syrups. Um, some of our older customers really like them because it says on, as you can see right there, it says five milligrams per teaspoon. Okay. So it allows them to kind of dose it out. They can add it to a recipe. They could put it on something. I know we've had uh, some customers buy this and make non-alcoholic mojitos with it. Mm -hmm. Or alcoholic. Or alcoholic. Uh, the <laughs> the we've got customer. smaller bottles of it, too. <laughs> yeah, we have smaller <laughs> jars of it. Um, they look like little tiny mason jars. They're kind of cute. Mm -hmm. um, but she makes, like, some uh, firecrackers and some lemon cookies and uh, some uh, kind of the orange, the orange wedges, the candied orange wedges. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the products are great. Uh, like I said, she lists the strain on all of them. All of them are fully tested. Look how natural it is. Oh, yeah. I mean. There's blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, cane sugar, water, xanthan gum, which is a, a thickener, and cannabis oil. And that's it. I know all those ingredients in there. Yeah. Which is pretty amazing considering that if, if I was to pull out a bunch of this other food over here, like, like here is something great. <laughs> Hold on. Are those THC infused? They, no, <laughs> they don't even have THC. I mean, look at the the, 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 the crazy shit stuff. inside an M and M's pack you compared to this dance. natural stuff. Mm -hmm. And this natural oh. stuff is going to get it, get it, get on it. On the uh, right. on the dates for that cart sale, by the way, um, it's uh, July fifteenth through the twenty first. Yeah, so okay. it doesn't start until the fifteenth. I, I saw someone say fifteenth oh, okay. of July Tomorrow, to so the twenty first of July. Mm -hmm. So you've got Next six week. days. Yes. Yeah. I just I saw done. someone say that they were heading over tomorrow, and I was like, I just wanted to clear now, that up. Yeah, 13th. So, yeah, you gotta wait, you got to wait till the 15th. Will the, will the ticket be guaranteed found? Yes. I mean, and I, for it's a small fee, there's, there's, yeah. for a small fee, Larry and I can be the one to give that <laughs> ticket. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. There you go. Like you were saying, they, every, every bottle has got its strain yeah. on it. Even it's her nice. other products have the it. The firecracker there. Yeah. she makes, which are kind of a cheese it sized cracker that yeah, uh, like spicy. Yeah, like a spicy ranch yeah. flavor. Um, and she actually she she listens to her customers, so she was having a lot of demand for people to up milligram dosages on the firecrackers from fifty to a hundred. So she's done that for her customers. I mean, she's she uh, I talked to her today she's on super the phone. Nice. She's extremely nice, and like I said, it's mainly just her and her husband run the outfit, and they're uh, they're working on all sorts of stuff, but. Um, being just the two of them, it's a little at a time. Yeah, this the, for accidental ingestion, call 800-222-1222. That'll be me. I wonder what that, that <laughs> phone number is. Is that like, yo, bro, chill <laughs> out, man. It's going to be all You're right. You're going to die. <laughs> you going to live. Down. It's good. Don't, Don't call the worry. police. Don't be call happy. the police. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy They're not going to think it's as funny <laughs> as you do. <laughs> do you like SpongeBob? <laughs> exactly. Do you have any <laughs> cereal in the house? Don't worry. Do, 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 Go get do, yourself do. a bowl of cereal. And I told you I was practicing for that phone <laughs> number. Um, I heard you guys talking about bath we bombs. We did talk earlier. bath bombs. Yeah, they had a badass bath bomb they now. did have a badass bath uh, yeah. um, But this is Green's but goodness. This is, this is, yes. this this is, is from green. our beloved yes. friend, Miss Monica Green. Yeah, That's so we have to give us love. THC CB infused bath balls. Yep. The essential oil botanicals. They, and I got to tell you one thing. If there's one thing that I would definitely expect is for Monica to have the biggest balls in the. In the <laughs> <laughs> and she does. Shout out to Monica. Shout out Monica <laughs> for those big balls. Now the other one was a baseball. This is softball. This is this is even bigger than the other one that that we had just saw. And I'm sure it's. You got any cool videos of it running around in the bathtub for 20 minutes? I do we'll not. Have to work um, <laughs> I. Uh, Monica, we need to get you in the bathtub and play with this. <laughs> yep. I've had some family members get them, and they were huge fans of them, yeah. so they were a huge relief for um, aches and pains that they were going through. Um, my uh, grandmother, one of my grandmothers, actually uses the bath balls and, and the soap because uh, it helps with a lot of issues that she has, and I know she used the soap recently and was saying that it worked wonders for uh, she having that shingles. Mm -hmm. And so the soap was a huge relief with the shingles. It said it really, I mean, because, I mean, uh, it's from what she's told me, they get so bad you can't put clothes on sometimes. It hurts yeah. so bad. Yeah. And it she said it worked wonders away. for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
that's awesome. And, and that's one of the other things about this stuff is we just had someone on with a bath ball. We've got another bath ball. We'll have another bath ball tomorrow. It's, they'll work. Yeah. They're all, they're all good. The, the, we're talking about cannabis here. And you can see some of, these, some of these people that are involved in this industry where it's like they might not know a whole lot, but if it's cannabis, it, you don't really need to know a whole <laughs> yeah. lot. It, it's going to work on its own mm-hmm. that, that you don't need to, to, to have a degree or something like that. And if you, you, you get good infused products and you put them on your skins, it, good things happen. It's, exactly. Absolutely. It's the, the, you know, we, we're not joking with people when we talk about cannabinoid systems. It's not, you know, something that we made up so that we could smoke weed. It is actually yeah. there. Uh, well, I mean, the fact that people are making bath bombs and soap and all these other products yeah. goes to show that it's not just about smoking weed. Right. Uh, to me, that's the biggest yeah. testament to it is the multiple uses for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. Okay. What else we got? I um, got all these goodies. Now oh. got the hip I, I had here. to bring this only because <laughs> of its sheer popularity. Yes. Um, Larry's we sell favorite. Through bottles and bottles <laughs> of this stuff. Larry loves this one. We have repeat customers on it. Canagasm. Sure. <laughs> Shout out to Canagasm and the Green Goddess. Taking you from a single O to five. That was the reports <laughs> that I heard was if if you can even get it done out there, man, you know, like like what's up? Yeah, we do need to uh, reassure people you not not to spray it in your mouth. But it wouldn't really matter if you did. But anyway, you won't right? die yeah, it's, it's if it happens, uh, or it happens to get in there. It's humorous, okay. Heard a pretty humorous story of a guy <laughs> or uh, a customer. I don't know if it was a guy or. That they had sprayed it directly in their mouth, and they weren't a fan of, of that method. And I was like, "Well, it's not." But really if it gets spray. in your mouth, you're gonna <laughs> I d- be okay. I'm sure, like the oily texture didn't help. <laughs> I sprayed that. it in my mouth, but all it gave me was a stiff tongue. So <laughs> well, then, then it did its job. That's it. Tip your waiters and waitresses. We'll be here all night long. That's the, and that's really one of the things that we. It's the the fourth or fifth. Uh, lubricant. It uh, was the first one that we ever had on our was. show, though, because I actually just shared that back to. <laughs> yes, I shared that back to my page earlier today when we were talking about you're telling oh, her to get in a five gallon pump. That, that <laughs> <laughs> and Monica was like, "Yep, yep." She brought she brought that on our show the first time around. It was the first time we ever heard about it was the Greens Bakery, Monica Green, pioneer. There you go. P.O.P. Just Can-a-gasm. like the other owner of the, the Cannabis Island, part of the P.O.P. <laughs> and I tell you what, for 20 bucks, that's the best bang for your buck. You can't go to Christie's <laughs> Toy Box and get something for 20 bucks that's going to do anything. That was that's a joke, fun. really. I'm just bang saying. Bang for your buck? Come on. Give me that. <laughs> $20 is a good. It's good. It's grand. Okay. It's All priceless. Right. That's what she said. Yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> 20 bucks, $20, no holla. Make a holla. <laughs> there you go. So there's the canagasm, which keeps raging okay. throughout the... So this is the uh, the double lemon cheesecake mirage hash <laughs> by Greenstone. It's great. <laughs> that is... And uh, the main reason I brought that on here is I'm a big fan, personally, of all their products. I tend to purchase all of them. <laughs> and this is old schooly hash. Yes, it's uh, and I believe he said it's seventy-two microns on that. Okay. That's we good. toured their facility. It's awesome. Very like clean, super very clean, yeah. professional. <laughs> very. Always quick to respond. I mean, and uh, a big thing that I noticed with him from talking to him, especially uh, before we opened up and we were talking to him, he uh, he wasn't willing to short his customers or his yeah. pat- short the patients at all, or make anyone feel like his his quality was willing to cut down for for profit or he was he was willing to take it all the way to make sure that he came out with a quality product for both the consumer and there you go it's solvent solventless hash right there it's good old bubble hash they use they use ice and water to to separate everything out of there and it's a beautiful container there that's his uh blueberry bubble hash right there oh that's the blueberry bubble what was the other one the the uh double the double lemon cheesecake moroccan oh there you go so what's the difference with moroccan and bubble the bubble is is done in an ice water, whereas the Moroccan is more <laughs> in a traditional hand hammered kind of beat the the Keith out of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I believe that to be the case. Shout out to Chloe Villano checking in with us here. That's some nice looking hash. We're gonna have yeah, to maybe absolutely. try out your bong and make sure this stuff is safe first. Look at how <laughs> white and fluffy it is. 
It's fantastic. It's fantastic. And so what would somebody, what's the, the usual out the door price on something like that? So um, on the double lemon cheesecake, uh, we, it's typically 25 a gram. And on the uh, blueberry bubble hash, it's typically uh, uh, 50 a gram. Sounds great to me. Yeah, it's. Uh, and that's really Miss Chronic here. You can kind of, for everybody playing at home. Christian mentioned a 72 micron. So you get see how much more greener that is at a 72 micron. Mm -hmm. The higher the micron screen, the finer the mesh. So the bubble hash was probably extracted at a at a higher screen because it does it's not picking up as much chlorophyll and things like that that are involved in that. So the higher mesh, this makes one it cl yeah. makes it clearer. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm still. But the other one's more potent. The clarity the of it. So if you find like six star hash and they say, well, I'm pulling it with a 120 u screen and it's like white. White is white as, as as ice cream or whatever, you know, white is that cap, then <laughs> then that's really pulled out fine. That's that's really the, the super fines. That same thing in distillate when you start seeing like if it's really, really clear, like golden, that's probably yeah. the first perk, the first crack pressure of that distillate. And then as it starts to get cloudy and gets a little bit darker, you're pulling second, third, fourth, fifth crack out of that. So that's kind of just the Good to know what the meds are when you're going to buy it to kind of tell because sometimes looks can be deceiving. And so if you know what you're And so for at, people that don't know what to do with this type of product, what would they use this with in? So you you can smoke it directly. I personally I prefer to use it like you would teeth. Yeah. Uh, I, I I don't like to put the flame directly to it because I I don't know if it does for sure or not, but I feel like it wastes excess. Yeah. I'm like the sa I'm the same way with teeth. So I just put a little bit of flour in and then some of the hash and then top it with some flour. And uh, I, I, I love the stuff. I mean, it's I buy a gram every time. Salad. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the salad in that case. And so you rip tubes or you, you smoke it through a bowl or? Well, I'm typically a bong guy. I just yep. uh, I, I like bongs a lot. So Somebody I'll said you could crumble it up and use it for food cooking too. Can yes, you do you that? Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. You could do it anywhere. You put put a little pinch between your cheek and gum and <laughs> get yeah out I actually had a customer that bought some of the Moroccan hash and said he was going to chew on that and I was like you're going to chew on it <laughs> yeah, I'm going to chew on this a little bit get this <laughs> down there I'm going to do, do it like a dip so that's a nice one what else we got there on the the next the contestant the next contestant so on the we're here with Cannabis Island and we're here with Christian and Josie from Cannabis quick, Island if you want to go that, check it really out cool. at the, the top of I the love lid. his packaging and the lid is cool. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his packaging. And this is Emerald Farm. Who was the name uh, of it? Greenstone. 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 There you yeah. go. Shout out to Greenstone for making some high quality hash. I need to take a tour of your facility there, Greenstone. Show everybody your technique. Yeah, we should See go out there. Cooking out there. All right, what do we got next? Oh, look at that pretzels. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, those are the sublime uh, pretzel bites that come in 50 milligrams. Sweet packages. and savory. Uh, we've had wonderful reviews of my personal. Oh, yeah. I um, but, I mean, I have had no complaints about like any of their pretzels. products. Their yes. caramels, little their pretzels. Little their snacks. Yeah, they're they're all extremely from popular. Them too. Oh. Caramels, pretzels. Can we taste test one of these? Yeah. We Go right ahead. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. We Let's appreciate look. <laughs> 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 Got to look at it. need to see how it looks on the inside anyway. It is. That's the. <laughs> that's the only thing about the new packaging is, like, they don't want you to see nada. We because your eyes will burn out. Your something. eyes will melt. If you see if you cannabis, see your eyes will cannabis. burn out of your head. <laughs> that you <laughs> might could eat. Look it's at those little nuggets. Mark Zuckerberg will cry if we show cannabis. <laughs> look at that. They look buttery. They do. So that but tasty. Oh, butter. Here, I'm going to take this one right here. <laughs> right there. It's got a little mustardy kind of. Oh, those mm. are good. They are good. <laughs> Sold. Oh. Sublime in the house. Wow. Those and that's like tasty. a chili lime or something like that? It tastes like... <laughs> I sweet and savory. Yeah, it just says sweet and savory. I couldn't quite pin the flavor down. I just enjoy them. Powered by <laughs> Champagne Distillate. I think all of their products, as well yeah. as all their Corova products, are as well. Um, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty certain um, Sublime and Corova are partner companies. So they're both uh, Go Labs products. Fantastic. Taste. And those are on $10. Yeah. That's, yeah, a, that's pretty good. good. That's $10. That's it. Yeah. For that bag. My tongue feels good. <laughs> you ain't going to get a better deal than that. <laughs> that is a good deal. 
And they taste the banging. Yeah, they do. Now, you Carrie, did you ever try the Sunday Driver that you picked up earlier at the store today? I have not had a chance to try it yet. That is a fantastic. I have fantastic it right here, though. From I brought it on the show. These are fantastic. I haven't even had a chance. Let me shout show out it. to <laughs> to elevated cannabis, sweet and savory pretzels. Go, go get like. How many bags of these can you buy? <laughs> um. Well, what's the what's the head of bowling? <laughs> you just sit there and eat it in the parking lot. And I don't go know back that we have all of them. I know uh, we've had a few people that wanted to be discreet vacationers buy those and uh, dump <laughs> them into a Snyder bag or, or uh, some other pretzel company bag. Um, so that right, they did that on their own. You would yeah. never suggest them doing that. No, absolutely That's not. The, absolutely the, not. Because you probably unsupported container rules and stuff what, like that. Have, this the, is what, what I got, got right there. here, man. It smells so good. I bought this earlier when I was over there. Smell that. And that's a cross between Fruity Pebble and Grape Pie. Well, this is the new strain that they got in over at Cannabis Island. It's an indica hybrid. It's 27.4% on the THC, 29.29% on the CBD. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I'm typically not an indica person. They, they tend to do what <laughs> most people believe they do. To me, <laughs> right. <laughs> so Sunday I, driver. Uh, I couldn't help just based off the smell, yeah. but uh, I'd get some myself. And uh, I will say, last night I had to be woken up off the couch <coughs> after about ten minutes. Bless yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Put that up for later for when I go home. Yeah. Get me That's a little uh, a little sleep sleep yeah. tonight. Yeah. We'll see you Monday. <laughs> I figure I'll start I'll start trying things out late at night <laughs> when I'm at home all by myself. <laughs> that way I don't have to. I can just you know. Go to sleep. How many jars of that can of gas you got stashed back there? About 10. <laughs> 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 11. <chronic>. Like 11. <laughs> <laughs> I, need <this> <laughs> I need that. This is, yes. <laughs> yeah, let's look at these things. Look at these cool things. What do we got? Here we go. Here wow. We go. Now, I'll tell you what. Whatever it is, you have to buy because the artwork is just rolling on these things. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds you of that old school, like, 90s artwork. This is like, you, Larry. This has got real the, popular. the aliens. <laughs> There. See, we've got a little carb on the side. Look at that. Ten thing. bucks, y'all. Get in there. Get over there. Get in there. Those are fun. Again, you're floating a river. You need a bowl right there. And then what's going to end up happening is that you can get rid of this little goofy thing <laughs> once that gets so toasty. And you sell replacements over there. Oh, they're uh, ten bucks. You just throw them out there and get another one. Right. <laughs> ten bucks. <laughs> Hey, or your kid comes and knocks your, your thing off your hand. You're, you're all right. You ain't going to break them. <laughs> That's it. Your kid, well, you kid friendly. Your kid off his you ain't got to knock. Yeah, because they're like. Pipe. It's got yeah. a little lid. Keep your <laughs> bowl like, on. You'd be like, yeah, See, you've got I'm everything right. over there. You're oh, a one-stop yeah. shop um, over there. We've got these silicone island. nectar collectors now as well. Uh, there you go. More river flow. a little cap. You can actually store your shatter, your wax, or whatever pipe. inside the nectar collector. And then you can use the cap of it to hit it out of. And then, uh, will you grab that glass nectar collector out of there? I think it's over here. There you go. Got a titanium tip to it. If you're if you're nectar collecting, one thing you want to do is is if you want to ruin your titanium, get it red. Titanium should never turn red. You'll start off gassing. It'll start <laughs> turning white. It'll start getting real nasty to you. So you just get it hot. Don't make it red. And then if you don't make it red, you don't have to wait that long for it to cool down. Yeah. So get it hot and then hit it. But try to avoid getting it red because you'll ruin your titanium over time every time you get it red. Well, and I've kind of, um, over the past couple months, kind of become more of a fan of nectar collectors over, over using an actual, like, banger on a rig just because of the simplicity of it. Um, well, there you go. And there's that's <laughs> one of the reasons why I use titanium <laughs> tips rather than quartz tips. We have these as well. Oh, they're yeah. nice. I looked at them the other day. That's a... Um, <laughs> it's a huge diffuser. It's a it's a dry. It's a glass straw, but it's dry. But it's got all kinds of like diffusers in there that should really cool this sucker down. Because that's one of the problems without the 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 water involved is you're sucking on a hot pipe like that, yeah. uh, and then usually it's going to be hotter than smoking a a bowl. That's pretty good. Are these selling pretty good? Yes, they are. Um, all the, all the here lately, I've seen kind of a pickup in, in concentrate equipment <laughs> devices. 
I was going to say Dorothy asked about uh, edibles and was talking about how she didn't know how much to use. I was going to suggest this because these come uh, ten, like it comes with ten gummies in a package, and they're all ten milligrams each. So that's a really good. That's what we usually suggest for kind of people starting, starting out with out. edibles and stuff. Yeah. These are a good yeah. option. So I was just going to say that because she asked about it. The smokies are a great product. Right, you see them all over the place. That that yeah. that's what. They got a great brand. Look at the packaging. They're known for good tasting, and then the yeah. small amount and like the being able to dose it. You know how right. whatever you need, whatever you are comfortable with. Ten servings with. per pack, ten milligrams per THC per serving. So there you go. You can dial it right in there and be on each time. Which if you're you're looking for a steady medication, that's really what you want to do on a consistent basis. And then you really know what your gauge is, rather yeah. than biting off you know half it's a, a good way to test how what your limit right. is or you know what what works for you and they always have like a variety of flavors yeah um sour blackberry sour blue raspberry they've got sour tropical and they've, they've got, got ones that aren't sour as well apple. i mean um they're just really well reviewed well loved i kind of uh, when i knew i was coming up here kind of just try to bring products that not just stuff i like or stuff that that everybody might yeah stuff that, that a lot of people have reviewed come into our store told us they liked it a lot and, and that's kind of the stuff I like to show. Because mm -hmm. um, I know right now there's a lot of new card holders uh, just getting yeah, into it. Yeah, trying to learning. figure it out. And so I kind of try to promote the products that I know have seemed to really help people. We have people, it's their first dispensary ever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of them. <laughs> well, that's it. The, before, it was one of the things that people, all of a sudden, they're in this marketplace. They've gone from... Uh, whatever dude had in his living room and was yeah. willing to sell me, that's the strain that I got. And now it's, well, I have, uh, how many different strains you have over there at Cannabis Island? Uh, currently we have five. Okay. And all of our strains are full panel tested. Yeah. So, I mean, we have the heavy metal testing, terpenes, the CBD and THC profiles, the whole works. But um, that's more, the, the five is just because all of a sudden, we've hit a glut here, and we've had harvest, and all of a sudden, the, the shelves yeah. are starting to get all a little the, bit dry. All the farms but like, what's are the a peak bit. amount of flavors that you've had on your your shelf at once? I think uh, I think we had uh, ten ten at, at first, or something like that, something like that. Right. Um, we like I said, we tend to only carry all the top shelf flour, and uh, so no mids. No mids. No mids. No mids. And so what's meds not mids. Well, meds not mids. <laughs> what's the the is there a, a Mendoza line that you go over to, to separate the mids from the the headies or is it just kind of there's a series of tests it's got to have this much THC this much CBD yeah it's it's a combination it's got a look it's got I mean it's not always THC percentage I mean everything's taken into account when we're looking at our flower we want to see the terpene profile on it because we want to know it's something that's going to help because I mean there's a lot of flower out there that's high THC potency but may not be the terpene profile or have any other additional benefits that are going to truly help the patient with what they're trying to seek, whatever ailment they're trying to help with. Mm -hmm. Right. You've got all the different stuff. You've got the grinder. Yeah, the chromium oh, crusher. The yeah. chromium <laughs> crusher. <laughs> One of my personal crusher. favorites. It's got the, the diamond blades in there and all that kind of good stuff. I'm a finger banger, i got to tell you, that, that <laughs> I don't really, I don't this really keep. It. And then it's got the, yeah, well, I don't like it dusty. I don't really like the, the, the grind to be that much. I can roll. This is a new one. Um, this is a new cart that oh, yeah. came out. Uh, this is Goodfellas. Oh, I know. you got to go from the bottom. Uh, right. No, no, you just pull oh. it out. Yeah. I thought there was one that did it easier from the bottom. <laughs> you saw it from the bottom, now we're here. That's right. Bam. So they have a ceramic and glass cart. It's got the adjustable air vent on it. And I gotta tell you, like out of all the car companies we've talked to, as far as commitment to their product yeah. and their <laughs> brand and and quality, they have come into our store easily four times in the last week um, to show us the improvements they've been making on their cartridges. Uh, they are constantly seeking see feedback. Anyone they've yeah. sold them to, any customer or patient that they know consumed it, they ask them. They want to know. I mean, they're real, real involved. It's it. The, the guys doing it are fantastic. And the guys are not bad to look at when they come in the store either. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, you seen that? Yes, I have. Dang, Miss Chronic. <laughs> Yo, Wally. So. But they're, uh, they're um, from what I know, they're fairly new. Uh, 
out here and there. They're, they're really, I think they're going to make a big name for themselves. I the good fellas. I, I mean, the PC. They, they look like the name. Yeah. You, I mean, the reason I say that is they're like kind of these That's muscle uh, guys. That's peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. Yeah. And so the name of their brand is good fellas. That's, you know, it kind of suits them. Yeah. Mm. They look like they're good battery. fellas. Yeah, let's try this. Get it in, Larry, and try it out. They and say these are sea cell. This is like a Rolls Royce sea cell on these yeah, things. Yeah, they right? said that the, they were saying about the the breathable yeah, part is the big the top, deal. There's that little adjustment wheel up at the very top. Yeah. That yeah. So you can actually take that and adjust the airflow. And uh, they've even asked me and other people is they wanted to know airflow details. What's the best airflow that's worked for you? They're asking about perp strings. We don't have any right now. Yeah. Yeah. At the moment. That's Sorry, that's I just wanted to bring that up because they had <laughs> asked a couple times. And we actually don't have any right now without any. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, and it's got the it's got variable bank parts. It's not just one hole. It's got like five different holes. Those I are such good quality. I tend to leave mine <laughs> almost closed. But I mean it's it's I like running it wide open. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's not as, oh, I've got to push the button. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> you have one of the ones that you just hit it? I don't really, I'm not a big guy. Oh, okay. He's a nectar collector. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> double yeah, banger. Concentrate. He's a and double it banger. You want to taste <laughs> <it>. <laughs> The cart is great. The flavor is super. Yeah, they're fantastic. And like I said, they literally made adjustments based on feedback within a day's time. Yeah. I mean, if they if they received if any question or I any sort of little picky, they wanted us to nitpick down to the smallest detail. Any complaint we had heard, anything we didn't like about it. I mean, they're they're like I said, it's they're exceptionally involved with their product. Goodfellas, number get one thing is I would terms. get a better professional printed label than that PC in there. <laughs> Besides that, it's fantastic. I'd also love to see what was actually in there. Right? It says cannabis derived terpenes. And if it's a flavor, you know, like show me the. Yeah. Give me a little bit more information. Maybe a QR code on there. Show me right. Take me right yeah. to the test. Yeah. Well, we've seen something those like that. Well, we'll definitely let them know because, like I said, they're constantly seeking feedback. Yeah. Tell them to come on to the grinder and we'll. <laughs> absolutely. We'll talk to the actually good fellows. I got fellas. their numbers so they I can do. come. Awesome. All right. So, how about the, who's on next? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Oh, what is this? Is, I should have said oh, that's just a cannabis island thing. Oh, is oh cool. We've got Is this part of the floor? This is kind of what the floor Some looks of the like. Some <laughs> oh, see that. Tide is coming into the grinder. Oh. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Need to go get in it. And it just went out. Now it's come back in. <laughs> <laughs> is that a baby diaper? No. Oh, look at that, though. <laughs> look at that face in there, huh? That's because you're high. You <laughs> Tell me that ain't a face. Look at that. Isn't that that cart there? works. That, that, <laughs> sure. That yeah. Face. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> it's a face in there. It's a face. It is. <laughs> oh, and look at that. That's a melted guy right next to it with the two That's eyes an right alien. there. Yeah, exactly. You see that? That's the alien in there. <laughs> the mouth. And there's that face right there. Tell me that ain't a face in there, Miss Chronic. Come on. Come on. Looks like one of those those apples after you let it dry out. Sit down there. <laughs> they're so like, there's some. They're like, yeah, all right, Larry's entertained. losing it, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's just your lighter, huh? That's oh, yeah. from the store. Yeah, okay. so we have those Here's different just colors two. and that's designs. That's cool. <laughs> won't fall off. Won't We've got some steam roll or a steam roll over there and a just tray. Cute oh, look lighter. at this. That's a cool lighter. Yeah, yeah we've got different colors and it's a clipper. And stuff. Yeah. There you go. Buy clipper lighters and keep the the lighters out of the landfill. And if you don't want to go get a new flint or you don't want to refill it, give it to somebody. They'll fix it. They'll take care of it because these are totally rebuildable. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So you don't have to throw them out and you put more They've juice in them cool and do all that and kind stuff. of stuff. And yeah, and shout out to good. Lauren Saunders from our green yeah, dish Yeah, she out got all there. of our uh, strains right. I th we're actually out of the Sunset Sherbert, but all of the other ones she got right. <laughs> she knows oh. her stuff. That's because Lauren's <laughs> awesome. We didn't talk about this one. We didn't talk about this one. Yeah, so we, we carry a whole line of the king pieces, specifically yep. the, their bombs. So many of them. Um, we've got different designs. We have some that are the uh, the angled, kind of Z-shaped ones. We've got large ones. I mean, the, the most Zobs expensive any of the king ones run is $100, even for the biggest ones we have. Yeah. Don't. But 
as far as quality, I mean, they're fantastic. Yeah. They'll break just as good as a $1,000 one, I well, guarantee you. Well, absolutely. Well, that's, absolutely. That's the, the most important the thing about glass. Is We've got tons of different styles and stuff. Different, different styles, colors. different bowls, different downs. They probably even got glass on glass joints. They got it all. They will once Larry gets in there and says, yo, this is what you need. Because <laughs> uh, that's where I come from. I come from the head shop world. Uh, as you can see by our, our nectar collector here, which is they're soon going to be carrying them down there. We're supposed to do a we'll seminar. Out of like a Marvel or Star it's Trek. Awesome. It is. That's <laughs> Christian Merwin. Let's give a shout out to Christian Merwin. And he's he's this is the the doubler, which adds another piece onto the single up there, and then he's got it on this cool base that kind of wings around. Go check him out on Instagram, mm -hmm. Christian Merwin. Actually, there's a big sale over at Nectar Collector these days. Uh, for the 710 holiday out there, which, uh, which if you're really a 710 person, every day is 710 holiday. So, uh, shout out to Christian for making that. Uh, so, what uh, hours and days and things are you guys open? So, uh, Monday through Thursday, we're open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays, we're open 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. And Sundays, we're open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. 365 days a week. Wow. <laughs> Everybody always asks, like, what's open on Sundays? Because yeah. there's not a ton of we places are. open <laughs> on Sundays. So, Dell City just right around the corner because we all know we can get anywhere in the city within about 15, well, 20 yeah. minutes. 20 we minutes. We see it as medicine, so we figured everyone should have access. Just like CVS. Time, yeah. So. yeah, for sure. That's what I And what why I not? It, the dispensary is a fun place to be. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We like being there. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> like it's I said, <laughs> it's not hard to be in an environment where you're staring at sandy beaches. Yeah. <laughs> That and great looking bugs. I sent you guys to Leisha over today. She was on our show last night. She came over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. She stopped in and checked <laughs> y'all out on her way out. I helped her take some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, she li Yep, yep. She she likes to flick it up. <laughs> and so how many bud tenders do you have working there? Is there, there other crew. crew out there besides you folks? Yeah, so um, we actually recently <laughs> hired uh, Big Chuck. Big um, Chuck. A.K.A. Yeah. the Scale Master. <laughs> scale Master. Scale big Chuck. Radio Shout out to Big Chuck, the Scale Master. And then oh. we've got we've got Charlie, who's probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> Lovable guy. Love you, Charlie. <laughs> Love you, Charlie. <laughs> Go easy on him, Sam. Go easy on him. <laughs> we've got Brian. If uh, As far as enthusiasm and commitment and, and, and really being gung-ho, full-fledged, Want to learn as much as he can, yeah. absorb as much as he can. Brian's the man. I mean, he's a, uh, he's a, uh, he he really he he wants to be as involved in every step that he can be involved. In. <coughs> it's important, especially if you're a, if you're a ganja guru, <laughs> if if the the weed calls your name. Yeah, <coughs> and then we've got Rowdy. Um, Rowdy Rowdy's fantastic, but uh, he's he's kind of a man unto himself. <laughs> Funny guy, um, hard worker. And uh, as far as uh, we keep, you know, we keep our clone tent. He, in he's, our, he's the caretaker he's of the He's the caretaker clones. of the clones. He's, he's <laughs> we don't touch him. <laughs> he, he, he comes in there first thing in the morning, even on his days off, to check on the babies. So he's always checking make on sure. them, making sure. I would talk about that. I mean, your clones are only $10. Um, right now, the ones we have are 20 Oh, $20. Yeah. Um, okay. they're, they're usually 10 Yeah, okay. they're usually yeah. 10 um, and occasionally Never we have some bigger ones that are 25. Ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we normally, anytime we have clones in, we have multiple strains. Um, yeah. Right now, I know we've got, or at least when I left earlier, <laughs> they go pretty <laughs> fast. We had uh, Lucky Charms, Gorilla Glue Number 4, uh, Master Kush, and uh, Tangerine Cookies, and I think there was uh, one Blue Cookie clone still yeah. there. You got probably about 6 to 10 more coming. Yeah, that's yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> And this is... A cool piece. Yeah. I'm hired in a hippie in a helicopter, cool. and I love this piece right <laughs> yeah. here. And, um, it is. I, I'm a huge Rick and Morty fan myself. Um, so, and that's a little Rick and Morty tray, rolling tray there. Jeez, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's nice because it's nice and thick glass. You can probably put a dab right on there and use it as a dab. Well, and tray. as colorful yeah. and cartoony as it is, it doesn't look tacky. Like it, it really is like a cool little thing. It's art, it's it's artsy yeah. kind yeah. of good yeah. quality, mm -hmm. but it's. Fun. And what could somebody expect to pay for this over at Canvas Island? I think we have some money. It's on the box. It should be on there. Fifteen bucks. Go, I was going to say, get the people to to guess what it is. Close as one. I don't know. It might be something uh, else. Uh, <laughs> screwed it up. We've got some bigger ones too. And then really? Yeah. yeah we uh we have a uh, one that's got some leaves on it, and it's about the it's one of the glass ones. Really cool. It's like dark purples and greens and black. Kind of looks like a night sky mixed with a bunch of leaves on it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really neat stuff. And we have 
metal trays. We carry used trays. Yeah. I mean, we really do try to keep a little bit of everything for everybody. So it's an adventure over there at Canvas. Oh, yeah. Not only can you get your it's THC, like a scavenger your medicine, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. There's, <laughs> well, there's trays and, the and sand, bombs. So, yeah. Know, we've got all the hidden treasure in there. The hidden treasure <laughs> in the sand. You're going to freak out when you walk in and my feet are sitting up there inside the, <laughs> <laughs> the sand display. <laughs> and, I mean, uh, before you even walk in the door, people really like to take photos with our Yeah. <laughs> we have some yeah. people just stop to take pictures. Mm-hmm. Have that happen twice today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then they take it home and say, honey, you've been to the islands and we don't need to go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the it's a good first date place you could take your girl. <laughs> it's good cheap. No, you, the, I mean, the, no, the, well, I mean, other than because that's the, the thing is, is good weed ain't cheap and cheap weed ain't, well, <laughs> cheap weed is, I guess is good if that's all you got, but, uh, <laughs> but for the most part, you're going to find some of the, the different the, smokes, different folks. That's there you go. <laughs> And so, but the the really your array is uh, top shelf bud. What is somebody? Do you have a standard gram price? I thought I saw some of your prices somewhere. Yeah, our standard gram price is fifteen a gram. Yeah. Um, and that's tax, or is that include that's, tax? That's pre-tax. Before tax. Okay. Yeah. So what All are they? What's prices the, are the seven percent or whatever that is out the door? What's a what's a gram out the door? Off the top of my head. Run. I'd have to do the math. Twenty bucks. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. The. <laughs> And then like half that? ounces. Seven percent. Seven percent. Our half ounces I are one seventy five. Our quarters it's are one hundred. Seven percent at sixteen oh five. I don't know if that's right. I think that's right. I, is it seventeen? That's good prices, and that's top shelf bud that's too, right? You're not gonna get a bag <laughs> of shade. I was just like, know. that's a lot of tax. So that could be right. Tax is killing us. Yeah. And so what seems to be the, we'll the, the hottest product? You sell more flowers, more edibles. What's the? Surprisingly, I mean, we we do sell a lot of flower uh, over on our side of town. Edibles seem to be really popular. I think yeah. it's mainly because we have a lot of older customers. Um, they uh, they tend to like edibles more. A lot of them never smoked in the first place, so it's a transition into smoking. It's not really a thing for them. So the edibles are a little more comfortable for them and discreet. And um, I think some people. I think they just prefer it. They, yeah, the I'd love for them to have the effect to try to smoke it though, because it's so different oh, than eating it. Yeah. Well, well, and I try to fun. explain to customers, you know, when you eat it, it's processed through your liver. It's not. We have right. quite a few people who can't even like they can't smoke just because yeah. of health issues and mm-hmm. stuff. So and, and edibles and are not their to option. Say that edibles would work for everybody. I mean, I've met people that said they can eat on yeah, uh, an that? unfathomable amount and be unaffected. So. The, this is the thing that that after you smoke all that weed and you get that can of gas and this we've is what got you're a use. lot of. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. I don't think that was grass intended use. Funny, funny. <laughs> we've got different colors. And That's it, my favorite. <laughs> and it's. <laughs> <laughs> Just so. Uh, and then it's got a little, <laughs> it's got a little string hole. You put the string through there, and it's oh, no. five there. pieces for all the wrong. <laughs> That's the grab. I'm not going to be able labs, to try yep. to sell that to anybody now. <laughs> <laughs> it's grab labs, and then they put these these two, uh, uh, as they refer to them, as tits on there, so it doesn't roll off the table when you're <laughs> over there smoking. And so you got the full glass array. You have anything like a soda machine or anything like that? If I get thirsty over there at the cabinet, uh, we do have can of punch. <coughs> can of punch. Yeah, yeah we do have the can of punch. Seven, it seventy-five is milligrams has multiple flavors. Uh, was it? I think we got kiwi, strawberry, uh, lemonade, blue blueberry, coconut berry. Just, uh, uh, like a strawberry blue. lemonade or something. What else? Uh, <laughs> but um, we're we both personally really enjoy the can of punches. I get them myself. Yeah. I think they're a fantastic product. Uh, we had someone ask if we have gummies. We do have the Smokies gummies, which are 10 milligrams uh, a piece, and then we have the Greens ones, which are 25 a piece, and they come with three in a pack. And then uh, they also uh, asked the about hard candies. Green gummies are 10 a piece. They're 20, I mean 25 milligrams, sorry, 50 25 50 milligrams. 50 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah they're because it's 150 <laughs> all together. Sorry. Yeah, it's um, 150 milligrams. That's okay. You're winging three. it from, from the from the dome. Yeah, the, uh, where's the Smokies yeah. at? We showed the Smokies, right? Yeah, those yeah. are the 10 milligram ones. They're We've right got here. the 50 milligram okay. greens okay. ones. Go. And then the, the hard candies, use. how much are those? The su- you'll have uh, the suckers? Yeah, we do. We have yeah, we have uh, green suckers. Um, they're 40 milligrams per sucker. Uh, and they come in strawberry and lemon. Actually, I think they've got new flavors now. I think we got oh, some yeah? green apple and stuff in now. Um, I know those are Jennifer that works here, her favorite. Yeah. So the suckers, they yeah. the suckers. I, I have yet to have any of their products disappoint me. Yeah. So I, I enjoy all their stuff. The double dose brownies, the single dose brownies, and any good kick treats. I, I, I love. Your greens 
she's talking green? Yeah. 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 Oh, Monica. Monica's. Price point wise, bang for your buck. I mean, you're gonna want to Yeah, there. definitely a good price yeah. point. She was a cook before. Yeah, she had so a she barbecue did, you know, store, for bar- barbecue place? joint forever. I didn't, I didn't, I've never been there. I didn't either until she, I mean, she, I was part of hearing about it when she sold it. You know, yeah. it's yeah. no doubt that when you say barbecue place, because she is saucy. <laughs> she is saucy. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, no, shout out to Greens. Shout out to Love Monica. Her. Love her. <laughs> Shout out to the POP. That's right. You know me. <laughs> so, well, there you go. What, anything else that we 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 we've damn near we, went through everything. Everybody's got to go over to Cannabis Island, man. Tell them, tell them you saw them on Larry's show, and they'll give you some stickers. And yeah, stickers. And we actually do a first-time customer discount of 25% off uh, any one 25% item. for your first time. That's great. That's off any So y'all can go. You got to get a quarter pound for the okay. first time or something like uh, that? Or? <laughs> we'll do the 25% off it any one on item flour. on up to an ounce of flour. Yes, so I come in, flour. if I come in in two days, <laughs> so if I come in That's in two good. days, I can get all my items. I can come by my Keef for $40, okay? And then I'm going to get me a couple of these other items. I'm going to get my new discount yeah, off, even though off. I'm getting a $40 cart because you can use them in conjunction with each other. Yeah, as long as you can't stack them. He's like, wait a second, let me think about this. You. <laughs> you can't stack I'm it on top of already but, discounted things, but I'm just saying, can, can, can I come items. get a $40 cart? If Carrie's, if Carrie's saying she's advertising it for herself. She's like, can I work out for me? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm trying to let the people know. So if I come in, I'm a first time buyer, I can get a $40 cart, but I can also get my discount on top of it. On the forty dollar card. On top of my order, got to come so get some flour. Give me some of this. Item. So oh, it's for one yeah. item. Come in and get okay. a forty dollar cart, and then you could turn around and get yourself an ounce of flour, twenty five percent off. Gotcha. Yeah. That's why I just want to make and sure everybody knew what it was. But well. hell, that's a great yeah. deal. You're going to get basically a, a double whammy if it's your first time coming to yeah. Cannabis Island. You might as well go in there <laughs> and get you a forty dollar cart, and then get you some flour. They're only yeah. twenty minutes away from everybody. Absolutely. It yeah. don't really matter where you're at. If you're <laughs> watching our show, you're about 20 minutes away. Yep. Yeah. No and, uh, I mean, we, we have different specials every day. Uh, Mondays, we do our Munchie Mondays. You can buy one, get one half off on any and all edibles. Yeah. Um, on Tuesdays, we have... Uh, it's our Tonic Tuesday. 25% off any of our tonics, our Mixed Barrier Mojito Syrups, it's our Canna Punches, edibles. our Kind Bites Coffee, any okay. of that. Um, and then Wednesdays, we do Wrap Wednesday. You come in, you buy any flour. You, you wrap for us? No, no, that, that's uh, Rowdy's the rapper. In the <laughs> but wait a second, we got to go back to the coffee beans because you guys, uh, somebody had coffee beans. No, we no, it's, it's beans. time bites. It was iced coffee. They're, oh, they're yeah. iced coffee. Yeah, they're THC infused liquid coffee. Somebody had infused coffee beans. Infused coffee wow. beans. Yeah, and I was like, what are you doing with those? And they're like, you eat them. Oh. And I was like, maybe you stick it, you stick it in, your, in your tongue, uh, down in your lip, like the other guy. Well, I heard about. Uh, I heard the other day about a uh, uh, canna dip. It's cannabis yeah. chewing oh. tobacco. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are quitting chewing. Really? Because wow. of it, yeah. Right, anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, your lip fall off your face from chewing. That's yeah. Uh, that's brutal. That's yeah. worse than smoking cigarettes. So you got wrap and Wednesdays. So the wrap Wednesdays, any of our wraps or cones or you get with any flower purchase, you get one of those for a penny. You can get a, oh okay. You know, basically free wrap. Yeah. You just have to pay a penny oh, okay. for it. We've mm-hmm. got OCDs, we've got some Bob Marley papers, juicy papers. It counts wraps. on cones too. Yeah. Cool. And, and then, then uh, Thursdays is buy one get one half off on all our carts. Oh. Yeah. yeah Fridays <laughs> is flower. Fridays we do fifteen percent off all flower, and Perfect. then on Saturdays we do twenty five percent off all concentrates. And Sundays uh, it's ten percent off, off the whole, whole store. store. Wow. Yeah. We've got deals every day. That's right. <laughs> it sounds pretty consistent, so you kind of know a, what you're dealing with. Is there a, a you're on Weed Maps Leafly? Not yeah, right now. We're currently not on Weed Maps or Leafly. Um, okay. Um, Facebook, we have an Instagram, we have a Twitter. So um, the best thing to do would be to call the 405-900-6588, or is, do you have a just menu online? Down. Yeah, we have the 405, you can call our number. We have a website, too. We have the website, www. <laughs> I think I threw an extra W. <laughs> Cannabis, Cannabis Island, Island, OK. Yeah, CannabisIslandOK.com. Um, the uh, Facebook can be hard to find, unfortunately. It's, they kind of suppress it. It's there. <laughs> it's just it's hard there. to find. <laughs> Um, and then we have a uh, Twitter. Um, actually, I'll have to look and see. I think it's at Can- at Cannabis Island. Okay, probably right. Yeah, let me double check. I would hope. <laughs> Come on. So it's at Island underscore Okay, 
and then our Instagram is uh, Cannabis Island at Daily Fire. Yeah. I get mixed go. up sometimes. Awesome. Google it. Yeah, Cannabis, Cannabis Island. Island. Okay. Yes, well, yeah, everything's going to pop up right there. And where's it located again? What's the address again? Uh, 4723 Southeast 29th, Dell City, Oklahoma, 73115. And it's closest to like Southeast 29th and what's the main cross street? Oh, I'm still learning all my streets over there. Uh, uh, it's, it's close to Sooner. Sooner, I yeah. I go that's Sooner That's the one over there. To come back. <laughs> yeah, two These doors, are the way two I roll down. Three doors down from Canton Palace across the street from Korean House and Taco Bell. Those are Asian food there. Get awesome. in there. Yeah. Go out and get yourself some Asian food. That Canton Palace is great. We yeah. all, our whole staff eats there. <laughs> Man, you can't, beat, yeah. you can't beat that where you can get like the host, you can get like the smorgasbord in the, we in just the plate this to a for like $6. Go visit Camp Larry, Palace. you don't like those. <laughs> you don't like the. Is it a buffet or do you no. go order by the dish? No. We, no, but we, they, I, if they have a buffet, I haven't ever walked all the way back because we always get our food yeah. to go because we're just too. We have. S- I work at <laughs> a buffet all of on them your, are guys on except for me, and so some of them have gone there like every day for a little while. I'm like, I don't know how you. They're do more that. than fair with their portions. <laughs> yeah. Not the sushi dip. Should I get sushi from They're them? not that kind of place. No, it's Chinese food. They gotta have sushi. I don't know. I don't believe so. We've got one of their takeout menus at the store. Yeah, we'll scan the takeout menu. And send it yeah, on you get like you get like twelve <laughs> items on a plate for like six dollars. It's like great. Their it's portions awesome. are huge. Yeah, you get like a little sampler. It's probably the one thing we talked about in this that we'll never ever know they were a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Larry just ate Chinese. No, I eat Thai. Food. So you know, come oh, get you your medication from us, and while you're there, pop yeah, pop down, over next door, palace. get you a six dollar plate, go. and roll home, and then you're <laughs> good to go. You're set. Eat some now. You'll be hungry later. Same thing with with medicating you know is is the consistency of the medication <coughs> throughout the day that I find to be most helpful than letting myself get over to the point where I'm in a lot of pain yeah. and so yeah the, as we see what's happened in the marketplace is all these things are graduated so you can eat 10 milligrams at a time you can dose yourself out and so yeah. it's it's real proper and if I'm sure if you need any help Y'all are there at Canvas Absolutely. Island to help guide folks. We try Especially best. when it comes to edibles. I, anytime I see anyone pop open the fridge where the Corona is at, I'm like, hold on, before, <laughs> do you have experience with edibles? Let's slow down here. Because <laughs> not everybody can do that. Right 29th away. and Vicky. There we go. Somebody <laughs> somebody got us. <laughs> We're go. out of Tulsa originally, so I'm still learning around <laughs> yeah. here. Will y'all have any special shout outs you want to give to anybody before we close it on that? Um, I just follow a few people on Instagram that I like to follow their stuff and watch their reviews and stuff. Um, one is uh, Oklahoma Canna Chick, um, yep. o- Oklahoma Canna Biz. Yeah. Uh, yep. I, I follow and read and watch a lot of the stuff Josh Moynihan posting out there. I want to definitely give a shout out to Medic Mike Sutterfield. Um, he and I have never personally done any business, but he helped. Uh, we. Uh, We've had some people that we've sent his yeah. way, and he's been extremely helpful with them getting the proper medication to the right people. Um, he's he's real big. Shout out to Medic Mike. Yep, yeah, 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 for sure. So, and the whole uh, Ounce Foundation. That yeah, they're, they're I've never even with. met Mike. I mean, I contacted him randomly, told him what the deal was with one of our Connected patients. Connected him to a couple patient, and, patients. And uh, he took care of them. He made sure they got what they needed. That's so. great. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. And what about course, you? I mean... I mean, they I'm on Instagram and Facebook. I don't and know. We follow you folks. <laughs> yeah. Where do you, what, on what? Um, Facebook, Christian Glidden, um, Josie Four. And then uh, we post on Instagram, I think mine's underscore is everybody in yeah. underscore. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine's been just there. Josie it's, period it's, four. It's been the name on there forever, forever, so. Right. From a duration of life. <laughs> That's it. And shout out to Sam out there. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. for sure. Puts Absolutely. it all Absolutely. together. Thomas. Uh, for sure. Thomas. Well, without either of them, we, we, we wouldn't be here with you guys. I mean, we wouldn't even right. be involved in it. Very I'm, lucky. I'm happy to be part of everything. I've met some really unique, awesome people through all yeah. this, and I look forward to continue working with everybody and be a part of it. Yeah, it's a really awesome. awesome thing. Yeah, it's been a pleasure getting to know you folks, and we've seen you out. We've, seen you, we, we've been to the ups and the downs together. <laughs> yeah. we're, the, we're back in <laughs> the ups, and so it's really that's what really creates relationships over time. Is everybody being under the fire a little bit? Yeah. See how we, <laughs> see how we end up. We work, how we work under pressure. That's it. Because we turn into diamonds. That, yes, we do. And we shine bright like a diamond. That's it. <laughs> Go ahead. Like, are you going to bust out some songs? 
Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the background music. I don't know you if y'all do. can hear it. Yeah. They've got their events in over here. They're getting it. I don't know if y'all can they hear it or not, are. but we're shaking in our shoes. Yes. Good times. So pretty awesome. There it is. Miss Chronic, you got any? Hashtag free Wally. Hashtag free Wally. <laughs> soon, soon, soon. Come see us at Cannabis Island. That's it. Yeah. Everybody go out there to Dell City, punch it in the Google. We'll put some some tags and all that kind of stuff going in there. And uh, again, thank you so much, Cannabis Island, for oh no yeah. problem. Thank in. you guys and for having us. Yep, we really appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you, and uh, thank uh, thanks to Knuckle Rub, our first guest. Yes. That was out here. And Miss Chronic, <laughs> really you got nice anything? Uh, you got anything on the way out of here? Hey. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. I'm all tapped out there we tonight. Go. We, we definitely, Speechless. There you go. Hopefully we'll see Christian back here. Next uh, week. Working on the ones and twos. Hope you had a He's good vacation. vacation. Remember, out there. Shout out. 15th to through the 21st. 15th. One gram cards, $40, and you get the chance at the golden ticket. Golden ticket. And that golden ticket is only going to be at Cannabis Island. Yeah. And you can't find that at any other place. <laughs> Keith. Keith. There you go. So there it is. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to the July 13th, 2019 edition of The Grinder. As always, thanks to my mom and dad who made this all possible. Larry, the man on weed with Carrie Chronic and Cannabis Island. Have a good night. Peace. Good night. Good night. Ooh, they're bumping over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy Larry, just leave off this. We're all good. Yeah. <laughs>